Hey guys, Chris Spencer here at the Capes Cove property we talked about earlier. Nice house, already walked through, walked down to the boat slip. I'll send you that boat slip listing separately. Uh, it's a pretty wooded neighborhood. I know that's something you guys are into is the woods. I mean, it's very, not pretty, it's very wooded here besides where the houses have been taken out. Your neighbor right across the street is on the water. Looks like they're breaking ground right now. Well maintained, looks like some older owners here. Uh, rocking chair front porch if you want to sit out here a little bit. True hardwoods in here. Obviously dining area as you come in, not a true dining room, but a good dining space. Nice open design, really is. This is a, a very nice open area here. Custom build, as you can see, a lot of more, a lot more details here than the, the last house we did. At least higher end finishes, anyway. A lot of cabinetry over here. I've seen this similar floor plan, and they've made that more of a butler's pantry with a sink in it. But that gives you a lot more cabinet space, anyway. Ton of cabinet space here. Checking to see if they have soft clothes. No, nope, not really soft clothes or anything on them. Eh, but glad, really nice. A little bit dated with the colors, as you'll notice. Again, looks like an older person probably, and they just have not updated that kind of with the times. While we're here at the back door, let's go ahead and walk out here. So a little covered area here, probably eight by nah, seven by 10 or so. A little alcove there on the other side. That was John, new agent worksmith. I mean, you saw a peek in the camera there. I'll get him some more, I promise. Gutter guards on the gutters. I can see a few pine needles hanging off. You are back in the woods, so that'll be something you'll deal with here. Uh, you actually walk right out the back door to go to the boat slip. So that right through that little arbor there goes to the sidewalk you see. Uh, and then it's probably 350, 400 yards, something like that, down to the boat slips. Nice patio area here. Let me walk back here and give you a back a view of the back of the house. All brick. And there's the uh, all seasons room they have there. That's a really nice room. I have not, it's the only room I haven't stepped in yet, but it looks really nice. Patios, you know what? That's a stamped concrete is what it is. I was just going to say, I didn't see any edging on it anywhere and that's why it's a stamp concrete so this is that all seasons room i was talking about a little bit warm in here now i would say i don't see an air conditioning vent in here and that's probably why it's warm so they, you would need to keep these open or get a little mini split unit or keep the door open to the uh, to the house to keep it cool in here, but nice room, really nice room, just hot right now. Got some built-ins here on the side, gas log fireplace, probably 10 or 11 foot ceilings in here, good size, nice crown molding. True hardwoods, great shape. These people obviously don't have a pet or kids or anything like that. I mean, they're almost perfect. Master here. I like that there's a little alcove so you're not looking straight into the master out of the den area. Decent size. Master bath. Got a little built-in linen closet there. His and her sinks. Private water closet, which I like. That's a garden tub. It's not jetted. Still nice. Looks nice. I like the steps on it. Shower's obviously been updated. That wouldn't be original to this house being seamless like that. So that looks really good. I like the tall baseboards everywhere. Good size closet. Hard to see on a phone like this, but it's kind of all in a line, so it doesn't necessarily take advantage of the space you have. But overall, it's really a, a good size built-ins in there. If they had some fancier furniture, it would go a long way too. 
hallway goes down to your other bedrooms here. As you saw on the profile for this property, it's advertised as a three bedroom, but they kind of have an extra room that they're kind of using as a bedroom now. They're using this one as a sitting room. Uh, it does have a closet here on the side. So this can be a true bedroom and it actually Jack and Jill's back over into the other bedroom. Bath in the middle, standard insert. Nice and clean, doesn't look like they ever really use it. This doubles as your guest bath here for when you have guests over as well. Third bedroom, standard size. Nothing special about it. A little bit of a walk-in. You can step one, one foot inside there to call it a walk-in. Into the hall here, you've got the garage. Two-car garage. It's a standard two-car. Nothing huge. They've got a fairly small car in it. You're not getting an F-150 in here, probably. It's not real deep. Decent garage, though. Nice, nice textured floor there. John, did you see the laundry room? I didn't pay any attention for that. Is that right there? Okay, it was right here in the middle. We went around through the... Uh, the Jack and Jill bedrooms and did not see the laundry. So kind of standard laundry, sink, tile floors. I like this bonus room though. Stairs are a hair steep going up here. But it's a pretty big room once you get up here. This is the kind of what they're using as bedroom floor. Really, I guess it'd be bedroom five. They're using that one room as a sitting room, but if you set them all up as bedrooms, this would be bedroom five. But it's a true bonus room. There's no closet. The door you see over here is the, the utility closet. Pretty good storage for Christmas stuff. And excellent access. You can see how high that roof line is. If you ever wanted to add some can lights or run any new air, air conditioning ducts or water lines or anything, very, very accessible in here. Notice it's a train HVAC system. Looks to be in really good shape. I looked at the one outside as well. Didn't catch it on camera, but it looks looks to be in great shape. Well, guys, that's it. I will uh, upload this and send it to you, and we will have a conversation from there. Let me go back to the kitchen one more time. I guess I felt like I went a little bit fast through that. Yeah, just changing them. The curtains and the valences and the paint colors would go a long, long way here. But maybe that maybe that helps from becoming the bidding war that I was worried about. Maybe this little bit dated styling keeps that from taking place. I will upload that boat slip video as well. Thank you guys.